Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome and thank you for joining the webinar today. My name is Tammy Zimmel, and I'm the VP of Marketing at The Estimating Edge. Um, Joe Pettit had a conflict today, so John Mitchell will be filling in. Um, John is our training and technical support specialist who has been with the EDGE for four years and has trained over 300 estimators on the EDGE, so he's very experienced in this topic today. Um, today he's going to be covering importing, managing images, and showing you a new feature that wasn't in version 10. Um, before we get started, we have a couple housekeeping items, and you can see on your screen here, um, all lines have been muted. We will be doing a Q&A throughout the webinar. To submit your questions, enter them in the questions window, and then that will be answering the questions during the webinar, and at the very end, we'll um, answer the questions that um, are relevant to the entire audience. So feel free to stay on the line since we will answer those questions at the end, some of the questions at the end. When you leave the webinar today, there's going to be a three-question pop-up window survey, and we'd love for you to answer this since one of the questions is about what topics you like to see in upcoming webinars. Uh, later on today, I'm going to send you an email that has a recorded link, and then we've added another webinar ne for next month, so you'll receive a separate email from the marketing at edgeestimating.com. So space is limited, so you want to make sure that you RSVP to that and reserve your spot. Um, so with that, I'm going to pass that over to John Mitchell. And he's going to start with the webinar today. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you, Tammy. Um, hello, everyone. I'm John. Thank you for joining the Images webinar. I'm going to be presenting three takeaways today. The first takeaway is importing images into the Edge and organizing those images into folders. The second takeaway will be cropping an image and using that cropped image as a hyperlink. And the third takeaway will be comparing two images by overlaying one over the other. Okay, let's get started with the first takeaway, which is importing the images into the Edge and organizing those images into folders. Uh, the Edge was designed uh, to import images three different ways. And um, then you can organize those images in folders uh, to make them much easier to access. In the real world, uh, a lot of customers have many, many images in their bids. So being able to organize them easier makes it much faster. So let's get started with the first way to import images, and that's when you're creating a new bid. So I'm going to click on the New Bid button to create the new bid, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to take my caps lock off and give it a new name. And then I will click the Add Images button to import the images. Now I will navigate to my images. I can import one single image or multiple images. I'll just hold down the control button right now and I'll click on a second image. You can import all the usual file types including CAD drawings and PNGs as well as PDFs and TIFFs. So I'm going to click open here. Here are my images. These are the thumbnails. To preview an image, just click on a thumbnail and you are previewing the image. You can also adjust the quality of the image by clicking the gear icon. Now, the bit depth has to do with whether the image is black and white or color. A one BPP, that stands for bits per pixel. A 1 BPP image is black and white. It's set as the default since most of these images will be black and white anyway. But if you have color images you want to bring in and you want them to be in color in the edge, you'll simply choose one of these. A medium color is 256 colors and this is a higher number of colors. 
So we're going to leave it at black and white. DPI is dots per inch. I would leave that at 300 or less for efficiency and quickness. So we'll leave it like that. Now, I'm going to change the description on my images here. I'll change the first one. And I'm going to create a page from that image by filling in this checkbox. And here is the page over here on the right. Now I'm going to do the same for the second image. I'll change the description. And I will create a page by filling in the checkbox. Now when I click Continue, I'll have two pages, each with an image in the page. And as I move forward to Pages, here are my pages. Which brings me to the second way we can bring in we can import images, and that is by clicking on the Manage Bid Images button here. That brings open the Image Manager. So I'm going to bring in a third image. I'm going to import that third image by clicking Add Image and navigating to a third image. I'll change the description. And I will create a page. I could just as easily click Create or Add Page right here to create the page. It does the same thing as filling in that checkbox. And I will click Continue. OK, so you see I have three pages here. There is another way of importing images, and that's from the Takeoff screen. What I'm going to do is create a, a page with no image in it. And I'll click Save. Now I will move forward and I will add a condition. And now I will go forward to the takeoff screen by clicking takeoff or by clicking this arrow here. I'll click the arrow. And as you see, there is no background image. We're defaulted to be on the condition over here on the bid tree on the left. And over here on the right, in this pane, you see the length condition properties here. So um, we want to import an, a background image, and to do that, we'll click on the description of the page here. And when I did that, you see that the pane on the right changed. Uh, the page information is here. This is important because we're going to be using this page information dialog box here. But now that I'm clicked on the page description, I can now click on Import Images right here in the upper left corner, which allows me to import yet another image. First floor with furniture. And I am not going to create a page. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to create a page uh, from this image. because I've already created the page. I'm just adding this image to the page I just created. So now we'll come over here to this dialog box and we'll click on the images drop down arrow right here. And there's the background image that I just imported. I'll click on it. I'll say yes. And there it is. Now, I'm going to show you how to swap out the background image. So I'm quickly going to add a scale here. And then I'm going to 
draw a couple of lines. Okay, so now if we want to swap out the background image, we just come back over here. First we click on the page description, then we come back over here and we can swap out the background image. I wanted to show you that because it's important to note that you don't lose the, mem the measurements that you put in here at all. They don't change at all. They're still there. Okay, so you've seen how to import the image. Now let's go to see how we can um, um, organize the images in folders. So let me click back in time and go back to pages. And I'll click the Manage Bid Images button again. And this time I'm going to add a multiple page PDF. It's got 14 pages. I've got a 14 pager here. It imports five pages at a time. These are the first five. Now it's working on the second five. Then it will bring in the last four. You could just as easily bring in a hundred images. Um, you, if you don't want to use all of these images, let's say you have an image set with 130 images and you only need 92 of them, you can just click the X in the upper left corner on each thumbnail to delete that image. I'm going to bring in all four of these images, though. And as you see, we have all four images. Let's say, though, that uh, two of these images um, are detail images, and we want to put them in a separate folder. I'm going to quickly change the description on each of these two. And now I'm going to create a folder by clicking the Add Folder button in the top of the Image Manager and give it a name, Details. Hope I spelled that right. No, I didn't. There we go. I still didn't. Details. Images. Okay. So now we've created a new folder. If we want to see that folder, we can hit this drop down right here and it shows that it has zero files in the folder right now. We're going to put these two images into that folder by marking them and then right clicking on one of them and clicking move to folder. And I'm going to move them to the details folder and save. Yes, I want to do that. Now I can view the details folder, which has two images in it, and there they are. So if I want to move back to the root folder, I'll click this button to move back to the root folder. You could have hundreds of images in here, and uh, separating the images out into folders will make things much more efficient and easy and quick uh, to reference the images later. So this is a great feature. Okay, let's move on to the second takeaway, which is cropping an image and using that cropped image as a hyperlink. I'm going to go back to my bid list. What I mean by cropping an image and using it as a hyperlink is like maybe if you have detail images and you want to attach those detail images to a background image in the takeoff screen you'll have you'll be able to attach a hyperlink directly to those detail images so um, you'll see what I mean go into this job here, 
crop and hyperlink. And I'm going to move forward and I'm going to go to manage bid images. You see these two images here. One is a roof plan. The other one is a detail drawing with a bunch of details in it. I want to crop out a drain, a roof drain. So I'm going to view this detail images image by clicking this arrow right here. Now I'm viewing it and I can zoom in and out if I want. I'm going to crop out this picture of this roof drain right here. There are several different tools here. There's the crop tool. There's a de-skew. The de-skew tool is if this, if the horizontal lines on this image were not level, if it was sort of cockeyed, you can correct that by using the de-skew button. You would click the button and click two points on a horizontal line and that would set it straight. It would be level again. And you can rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. But for right now, I'm just going to use the crop tool. And I'm going to click two points around that roof drain. And here is my crop over here on the right. I'm going to give that cropped image a name. I'm going to call it roof drain. And I'm going to click Save. And it now saved that cropped image back to your image manager. I'll click the X right here to go back. Go back into the background image manager. And there is my image of the roof drain. If I want to view it, there it is. OK, now let me show you how to use this detail of a roof train to attach it to a background image on a takeoff screen as a hyperlink. Now I'm going to go to the takeoff screen. Normally this would open on a separate monitor, but I've only got one monitor here to show you. So this is the takeoff screen. I want to attach the roof drain image to this background image with hyper with a, the hyperlink tool. So I'll click on the hyperlink tool and I will come over here and use the drop down for the image, pick the roof drain, come back over here, and I can put that hyperlink wherever I want it. I probably don't want it directly on the roof drain. I'll, I'll put it off to the side a little bit here and it puts this hyperlink. If we want to do another one, we'll click the tool again, choose the image. We could just as easily do this with any other image, an image of a vent or anything. But we'll click this roof drain again, and we'll do that. Now, I can label that image as big roof drain. and apply that label and I can select this hyperlink and give it a label small roof drain so that you'll know which hyperlinks are for which and now um, we can view the hyperlink just by double, double clicking on it and we'll see that detail drawing. Pretty nifty. All right. That brings us to take off, take away, number three, the overlay feature. This is new in version 12, and we've got a lot of positive responses from our customers. They seem to love it. Um, I am going to click this job. Uh, you would use the overlay feature when, let's say, an architect has made changes to a plan and he gives you a new digital image. You might want to overlay the 
plan with the changes on top of the plan, the original plan, so that you can see the differences. And that will allow you to see the uh, differences quickly. So let's go forward. Click on the Manage Bid Images icon button. You see that I have a floor plan here. I'm going to view it. There are my same tools from before. This time I'm going to click on the overlay tool. And I don't have an image to overlay on top of it. Yes, I do. I've got an image with changes right here. There it is. I'm going to click the compare button now and it will overlay the image with changes over top of this original image. And there you go. You see it changed to different colors. The different colors allow you to see the changes that have been made. And what's great about this feature is you know that the red lines are from the original image and the blue lines are from the changed image. So now I can save this image as an image by itself. I'll call it compared, compared uh, floor plans. And I'll click Save. And then I will click this X, go back to Manage Bid Images, and here is my compared floor plans. And I can refer back to this anytime. Uh, it's a great thing to be able to organize these things in folders so I can have this separated out into other folders. I know that a lot of companies have hundreds of images in their background image manager. You might have multiple pages. Okay, that takes care of it. That concludes the webinar. Those are the three takeaways that we want you to get out of this, so I'm going to pass it back to Tammy. Thank you so much, John. Um, if there's any questions, please feel free to um, use the chat window. Oh, I see one coming in from Quint. Um, Quint says, what is the advantage or point of using hyperlinks in a takeoff? Well, that's a good question, Quint. Um, the hyperlinks in the takeoff allow you to quickly refer back to any image you want to be able to see very quickly from the takeoff screen. You have your background image, but you want to refer quickly back to your detail image. You can just click on the hyperlink, and there you are at the, t at the detail image. That's it. Great question. Any more, Tammy? It looks like that is the only question we have. Um, okay, so uh, thanks for attending everyone today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us afterwards. And then, again, I will be sending out a, um, a, a thank you for attending with the webinar link for those that missed. And then also, as we leave the webinar, there's going to just be a three-question pop-up survey because we really want to make sure that we're delivering the right content um, so that these webinars are effective and um, time efficient for all of you. So giving us any types of tips or content that you want to see, that would be um, helpful for us. And um, we're here to help you. So thank you so much, everybody. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, please. Let us know. Thank you.